more! What's up everyone? One thing that's really cool about what we do at Wong Fu Productions is that we get to work with a lot of actors and specifically like Asian American actors. And it's always really great to see the people that we've worked with on our channel also work on TV shows and movies. It's, it's, it's like just so cool that you know, they get to reach a wider audience. Yeah, we've seen this happen with people like Arden Cho and Teen Wolf, Ki Hong Lee and Maze Runner, and of course, Randall Park, who's been in a lot of other shows, uh, movies, of course, and commercials. And now he's in a show um, that's about to premiere called Fresh Off the Boat, based on Eddie Huang's book. And we get to talk to the cast today and kind of see how they feel and ask them a few questions. So we're super excited. Yeah, let's get into it. What's up, everyone? This is Randall and Constance, the parents of Fresh Off the Boat. Are you guys feeling the pressure? Uh, well, he's feeling <laughs> sick right oh, now. Yeah. A little bit on it, the weather. He's got the yeah. flu. Because of the show, obviously, right? The yeah, because of all the pressure. <laughs> the pressure <laughs> turned into a flu virus. All right, so we have Forrest Inn and Hudson here with us, the real stars of the show. Are we right. <laughs> no, it's true. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Do you feel like you guys are like brothers yeah, you guys now? get along? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's, that doesn't work because brothers don't be... usually get along. Oh. <laughs> that's too bad. We're like the perfect brother. Yeah, we do fight sometimes. That's true. Yeah. Like no. argue over stuff we want to do. Like, yeah. I want to go here. No, I want to go here. But we want to do this. You guys yeah. look extremely young for being the parents of three boys. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I think Hollywood movie It's that Asian yeah. thing, you know? Exactly. It's like, yeah. Exactly. Well, we, we've seen you play a dad. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, I played a dad before. In, Super in, in our shorts. Oh, yeah. And in, and in yeah. a home is where the, yeah. And in real life. <laughs> I'm a dad, I, that's right, I'm a dad in real life. I, I forgot about that. Has this role made you not want to have like a, like any sons? Because <laughs> you have a daughter. I have right? a daughter, so, yeah. yeah. It's different. That's one thing I learned from reading the book, because I grew yeah. up with all sisters. Okay, that's right. And he grew up with all brothers. Right, yeah. Like when he talked about how he and his brothers interacted with each yeah, other, yeah, yeah, yeah. and like even how socially they interacted with their outside right. world. It's, it's different. And I didn't even, I wasn't even aware that. So how, how similar are you guys to your guys' characters? You know, was it hard to play or is it pretty much to yourself? I had to change a little bit because I'm not <laughs> yeah. that much of a... Well, yeah, I, <laughs> I I think I had to change like a little tiny bit. Yeah, like how? Uh, how do you feel like Becoming smarter. No, just <laughs> <laughs> There's the older brother. There's the older brother coming out. What was your guys' experience in the 90s? Did you guys have like, you know, that the crazy hairstyles, like the really flashy clothes? like Crazy hairstyles, flashy clothes. <laughs> I made him change right before this. <laughs> so you wanted to wear pink shorts? I've been wearing, yeah, I, I, I'm <laughs> still stuck in the 90s. Yeah. Uh, do you feel like uh, Randall and Constance were like the cool parents? The, the characters were the real people. The characters, the characters. The characters. Oh, then, no. Too, yeah, not, not cool enough for you guys, right? Uh, uh, I think not cool in today's yeah. century. What about right. the, real, the real people? <laughs> <laughs> the real people, uh, the real people are yes. so cool, right? The real They're people like, are so cool. They're like, totally cool. <laughs> I'm not being sarcastic. That's yeah, I mean, when I was growing up in the 90s, I was a lot like Eddie in the show. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I was like so into it. I wore like double XL pants, <laughs> you know, and they'd sag all the way, all the way to my ankles. You shouldn't be allowed You'd to put see weights shoes. in them so that they would <laughs> I sag. I put more. weights in them. <laughs> so you were really into hip hop. Were you also into like the hip hop scene? Or not at totally all. Opposite? In okay. fact, reading Eddie's book made me realize how not cool <laughs> I was. She was a theater nerd. I was a theater okay, nerd. Okay. You know, I was reading like Shakespeare. Oh, okay. and check off and all that stuff and did you have to also draw from your own parents too i mean most of it i tried to base on the real jessica huang who yeah, we yeah. met you know i think there's one scene that everybody likes where like you know i take all the chips yeah. <laughs> and my mom would do things like that but the, but the thing that i think a lot of people think is funny is then i sort of wave her off yeah. and my mom would do things like that, but the thing is, it was never me. And I think mm -hmm. that's what's funny about it. Yeah. Like, okay, thanks, you can go now. Yeah. It's it's like a kind of a mean gesture, but with no mean yeah. intent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. There's like a, a part in the in the trailer about like school lunches. When I was in school, like I definitely tried to trade my lunches with like to get like the cool snacks. Have you guys ever had to do that? Like this the lunches. Century, I don't think they do that. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't happen. He's basically saying we're too in old. In the school that I, that I go to, they yeah. say no trading, no shoes. No shoes, no, 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 no shoes. They don't let you yeah, trade yeah, food? No it's illegal. Yeah. I'll go into the detention office. I think it's because really? allergies or something. Oh, yeah. 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 my Peanut gosh. Peanut butter jelly. That's oh, true. they're being really careful. Wow. Yeah. That does make me feel a little old because like, when yeah. I was a kid, they did not care about that stuff. Now, now How old are you? 40? There it is. There it is. So this interview's over. So we're done here. Obviously, there's a lot of talk about, you know, 
this being the first Asian American family, you know, in 20 years. 20 years, years and, yeah. And I think that's why I asked her like about the pressure because I think a lot of people are putting their opinions onto this one show. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of people are making judgments whether they're going to watch or not. The show is really has taken great pains to be respectful and not stereotypical. You know, we're not caricatures, yeah. you know. No. It's, a, it's a really loving family with, you know, and sure, but it's a comedy. Right. It's, and it's no. also a unique family. So it's not going to reflect everyone's exactly. family at home. Asian Americans only have <coughs> one show, so every, totally. all the different types of families are going to be putting themselves in this one, and then yeah. you're going to have a ton of people that say, oh, that's not like me, so this show's terrible. But that's yeah. not the point. It's the fact well, that, you know, we need to at least get one first. That would be a reason to watch it. Watch yeah. it so somebody invests in your project, and then if you have a different voice to say, then make your exactly. project. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I just feel like, if you don't if you don't like the show, don't watch it. You know, ultimately. <laughs> yeah. But it has a lot of heart. It's funny. It's My not the kids are great. The kids yeah. are great. Constance destroys it. Yeah. She's so good. Destroys it as it ruins the whole show. <laughs> as it kills Almost it. got fired. As it kills it. No. The, yeah, the goal like in some ways is so is that there'll be more shows like this. Yeah. But it does take yeah. the success of one to kind of Absolutely. Yeah. for others to, to kind of to kind of happen. But also nothing's perfect on its first try. Right, right, right. Yeah. So like yeah. the more we hear feedback. And that's another better. thing. Yeah. Shows evolve. You have our full support. And that's why we we came out here we want to meet you guys. We want, we want all of our audience to be like Yeah, it's so great to meet you guys. <laughs> it like really is like really Yeah, yeah, we've like heard a lot about <laughs> you. Um you seem like some clips. <laughs> We're really excited to see you guys on the T V show. You guys are gonna be like the first like Asian American family on TV. That's yeah, really, a, really cool. There hasn't been like three Asian American yeah. brothers on TV like this before. You guys, are, like, it's like a first. Does that feel like I'm finally awesome? a first. You're, I'm <laughs> part of a history. You're a part you're, of history. You are. We're, We're history. making history. You're making history. <laughs> but congratulations, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, we're really excited. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Good Thank job. You. High five. And watch fresh off the boat. Oh. Thank you. Fresh off no. the boat. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So this show is actually a pretty big deal um, because it's the first time in 20 years that there's been an all Asian American family on network TV. I think that's why the Asian American community is actually um, really looking forward to this, this show. But I, I know that this is just one step um, for the community to, to make greater strides. So I think if we come together and support this and give it a chance, um, it can only mean good things. So I'm really glad that we got to like talk to the cast today, Randall, Constance, and the kids. Yeah, we hope that when the show comes out that you guys will support, because um, supporting them is just like supporting us too. So it's, uh, it's all good for uh, the movement and the community. So thanks, guys. Do you think we would have been friends in school like if we were like the same grade as you? What do you think? Are we cool enough for you? We make YouTube videos. That'd be actually not bad. Right? That'd be actually I like really it, cool. yeah. yeah. Yes! Yeah. Do you have like, a lot one of people watching? We, we have some people watching. Do you have a lot of subscribers? Yeah, how many subscribers? We're getting interviewed right now. Um, how many followers? How we many have, subscribers? We have two million subscribers. Mm. Okay, you're good eh. enough. Oh, we're well, cool enough. Eh. What, what would impress you? Who impresses you? Ooh. Oh, well, he likes Asian Canadian. I like Minecraft. I like Oh, Al Minecraft. Oh my god. I like I like Alex Wasabi. Okay. Wasabi Productions. Wasabi okay. Productions. Those guys are cool. Yeah. What about you, Hudson? I have a wide range. Okay. Of different things. All right, you have you have a very <laughs> very culture. eclectic taste, okay? So I like comedy. Comedy. So you guys have a lot of subscribers. Yeah, we, we do okay. Yes. We do okay, yeah. Oh, no, and I like the Fun Brothers. Sweet. Oh, and, those guys um, are awesome. Is there a certain scene or um, something that happened on set that was like really funny or, or mem memorable, memorable to you guys? Ian sneezes a lot. Oh, yeah, Ian sneezes a lot. You have allergies? No. Dust, Why do you keep right? sneezing? The dust, Gross. huh? Sensitive nasal passages. So is it like you're in the middle of a scene and, <laughs> and you'll sneeze? <laughs> yes. <laughs> 